All right, how's it going, guys? So I wanted to review my Saunders Fat Bike Hot Rod upgrade uh, from Luna Cycles. I removed the old controller with their 20 amp controller, and I added the LCD display as well, and that was about 100 bucks, including shipping and handling. So I wanted to just kind of review and see uh, how badass this thing is now. All right, let's go see. All right, so we're out here. I got a fully charged battery. Um, let's just see if I could show you what it looks like. See how, let's see how well I could do this video like this. So I'm gonna just full throttle it and let's see how this goes. Stand still and here we go. Turn around. Let's see what I can get to with pedal assist five if I help it to. Slight slight incline. Alright, so that actually was pretty impressive. Uh, I was doing about 10, 11 miles an hour there up that hill, where before that mod, I would say it was about about 4 or 5 miles per hour is what it would do it at. So I definitely think you, the gain you will get is on hills. I'd say I doubled my speed on the hills just for that extra wattage. Just got back for about a 4, 4.5 mile ride with the new hot rod mod. Overall impressions, it definitely helped out on the hill climbing, uh, going up about a 6% grade. I did notice it there. Not night and day, but it was definitely, it added about 4, possibly 5 miles per hour, which doubled my speed essentially on that grade. So if you got a lot of hills, this will help you out quite a bit on the hills. From a standstill on a flat gravel, on a flat road, just total standstill acceleration. I didn't notice any, like, whoa, I didn't notice it. I honestly, I didn't even notice a difference. I mean, you're talking about adding 150 watts, essentially, roughly. And somebody else can do the math, and it'll be better. But So I, I wasn't really expecting too much. It is nice having no top end, because it was kind of annoying having the motor cut out at 20 miles an hour, and you still felt like there was, you wanted to go a little bit faster. 
Unfortunately, it only adds about another mile, possibly two miles per hour to the top speed. So, I don't, this kit doesn't really do too much. I, I'm probably going to get a bigger 48 volt uh, battery pack and let's see what that does. If I could push 750 watts to it, up to 1000 watts. Then we'll see, and maybe I can fry this motor, and then uh, we'll see what if that's a lot more fun. Uh, the, the installation was actually fairly easy on this. It just kind of took a while. It took like 20 minutes maybe, but it was super easy. You just take out six uh, bolts with an Allen key, reconnect the wires, tuck everything back in, try to make it look as nice as possible, and then bolt it back down. It wasn't, anybody can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, yeah, ask me any questions. I'll try to answer it, and uh, stay tuned for the next mod that I do to this thing. All right, thanks, guys.